Hey there, everyone. I know I'm a horrible person because I got you all rallied up to hear me say penis a bunch of times and never ended up posting the video. So, yeah, I'm actually that's actually what this video is now. Um, between studying and getting sick, I didn't really have time to record the video, so I apologize. Um, but this is a response to Skittle Lollies, uh, I believe that's her username, circumcision video. Now, she made two videos, both were about eight minutes apiece where she tried to provide arguments against circumcision. And I could only come up with maybe four points she made in the entire thing. Um, and she didn't really explain it too well, so I'm just going to, you know, go through them. Now, before I do this, I want to state that I'm not for circumcision, and I'm not against it. I don't really care either way, but when you're going to uh, try to make arguments against something, you should probably argue your points well as opposed to just going off on tangents and yeah I'm guilty of that myself but I'm gonna see what I can do with this now the first point you made is the fact that it's cleaner and then you went on to say it shouldn't matter because it's the parents cleaning the child's penis when it's all bloody and scarred now I really don't think that's what they're trying to get at with this at all um, it's the fact that once they've grown up and are taking care of themselves uh, showering for themselves it's easier to clean and why is this important uh, guys aren't the most cleanly things, so they don't, they won't really take the time to peel back the foreskin and wash it properly on a regular, constant basis. And uh, frankly, this will not lead to some nice things because the foreskin can trap a lot of things, and sediment, uh, and cause a few different infections, and that's never a good thing. Also, it's, it stays cleaner longer, so that's also a positive thing. Um, now. Again, I guess that really depends on the person because there are a lot of people out there who aren't willing to, you know, take the time and clean properly, but again, there are. Um, second reason you stated was religion and you thought this was the most reasonable thing, and frankly, I'm completely the opposite, but this isn't a video about my religious beliefs. I'm not going to go off on that tangent. I'm just going to say I think this is the least reasonable reason that somebody can give for uh, surgery. Uh, another point you made was the father wanted, wants the son to look the same way he did, and you went on about how this is perverted and people shouldn't be looking at their child's penis unless they're nudists, even though you claim that it's okay for parents to look at their child while washing it. And again, I don't necessarily think it's the fact that the father's looking at the child's penis as much as it's male ego dominance bullshit where uh, the father is like, I did so well with the ladies back in my day. Uh, I got so many people to have sex with me, or whatever it may be, and this is directly related to their self-image, the, how they perceive themselves, and if they're circumcised, that's going to be part of it, and they want the same opportunities for their child. It's n not a very good point, I agree, but it's a lot better explained than, hey, that's perverted. Um, then you went on to draw a parallel between boob jobs and circumcision, saying that they should both be elective, and I agree, yes, it hurts a little bit more for the child if they're of age to make the decision for themselves, but I don't agree with the premise of your conclusion, because boob jobs, you can physically see the outcome of, um, they attract a lot more attention, they can get you a lot more places than a circumcised penis does, because you don't see the circumcision until, you know, you're fully naked. Yeah. You also went on to say um, that people shouldn't be dating other people based off the look of their penis. And frankly, I've never heard of this happening, so if you have, I'm impressed, but I just don't see how that's relevant to anything. Now for your second video. Um, you went on about female circumcision, and frankly, it was kind of insulting. Uh, not to me personally, but the fact that you tried to draw a parallel between male and female circumcision. Uh, male circumcision definitely has its positives. It keeps it cleaner. It's, it does a lot of good things. I don't really feel like getting into it. But female circumcision is solely based in the premise that, that women should not be having sex. They cut the clitoris out and sew the labia together. So not only are they incapable of having sex till marriage, they won't draw any pleasure from it. Um, now, I'd love for you to uh, discuss some of these things with me, and I'd love to see a few more videos because I'm a subscriber to you. So, until next time.